All right, what is good everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. Today's reading we are going to do, um, I don't know, pick your item. <laughs> we have a pink and uh, blue hat, we have a skull, and we have an orange and red hat, okay? Um, in these readings we are going to look into what is it that your hidden enemies don't want you to know, okay? I will put the timestamps for these readings. This is going to be group one, group two, and group three. I will put the timestamps down below in the description box. All right, guys, before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, sending me good energy only means you're going to get good energy back. All right, guys, so pick, uh, pick your group, and I will see you guys at your readings. All right, group number one, this is your reading. We are gonna look into what your hidden enemies don't want you to know. This could be coworkers, this could be friends, family, anything. What is it that they don't want you to know? Pile number uh, one. We have two of pentacles, temperance. Okay, so we could be talking about your family. Mm -hmm. your family what is it that your family doesn't want you to know two of pentacles so two of pentacles um i'm getting that they want you what the okay so if this is about family, the Six of Cups talks about family, <laughs> and these are your hidden enemies, these are people who claim to be for you, support you, love you, um, these people secretly try to have you in a, in a, in a place in your life where you want to, you're, you're have, you have too much on your plate, you're juggling a lot. This could be finances, you could be juggling health issues, I don't know, just life issues, right? It could be anything. Um, <clears throat> but what they're trying to hide is that they are... <sighs> they want you to walk away from whatever you're working on because they know that whatever you're working on is going to bring you into a connection. And they don't want you to see that. They want you to miss out on that that blessing that God has for you. And this is your family that wants to sabotage your new love. They want to sabotage your victory. And Spirit says that's the truth. They're getting caught. This family's getting caught because they're getting found out for <clears throat> to be secret haters. Um, trying to create burdens and obstacles for you to have to deal with just so you would be so overwhelmed that you'd walk away from whatever it is that you were working on. We have the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Temperance, the Magician. Damn. That is, man. Look, here's the devil trying to create all these like trying to get this person over here to handle so much so that they won't they'll walk away and they'll miss their blessing they were trying to give this person more to their plate and this person didn't want it and this person could have finally said no and that caused a tower moment for this family because this family's like oh shit um i don't know like <sighs> you never said no to us oh my goodness Says that's the truth. Okay, pulled the cards. Let's see if I can find them. There's one. Where's the 
other one. There's that victory card. Yeah, they wanted, they knew you were going to have victory in whatever it is that you were working on, so they all attacked you. There could, excuse me. There could have been up to seven members um, attacking you. They wanted to stop you. These people are sneaky and deceptive, man. These people are. Mm. I don't know where that other card went. been a Taurus that you moved away from. This person is getting official news. This Taurus could have been a, um, a mother who was trying to block you. It doesn't have to be your mother. It could be a mother. So, yeah, pile number one. I mean, they're just trying to block you from getting the stuff that, the good stuff that God has for you. Yeah, you were you were working on something and they didn't want you to partner with anyone they wanted you alone abandoned but you're still getting that will of fortune and it might come in quick the way as fast as judgment is being called on them that blessing is going to come in for you so um yeah things are getting balanced out in this situation these are things that they thought they were doing in secret they thought they could fool investigators but you shine, baby. Oh my God! Look at all this major, all these majors coming out for you, man. There's a big change gonna happen for you, pile number one. A big change. This could be um, just the just the direction of your life. This is a new beginning. There could have been um, someone. Mm. Could be someone off coming in to offer you. Okay, yeah, it's someone coming in to offer you an opportunity to grow something with them. With the devil and the page of swords, it's saying that um, this person is not a, a good person to get mixed up with. Whoever's offering you this, they might be offering you a lot of money. They have a lot of money, but this... This offer is, is not a good one. It's not healthy. They want to offer you something, a new beginning. But because that's only because they know all the good stuff is that's coming for you. So they want a piece of it, right? I mean, you have the sun, the, sun, the star, the chariot, the fool taking a chance on a new beginning. Um, man, you, you have some big things coming in for you, pile number one. And your family knows it, and they try to stop you. They, they could see this new opportunity you had coming in for you. So what's this, um, what can you tell me about the family, Prowlin's family? They've been watching the work you do. They know you've been speaking truth. Mm. They want to hold on to you because they feel like they can benefit in some way yeah they can benefit in some way spirits ripping all that away from them so if they had any kind of level of security because of you and it doesn't even have to be that you were giving them like money but your your energy is very abundant your your energy brings in money so having you around brought in this money for these people but spirit is cutting off that that connection that they have to you. Even if these people are still in your energy, um, Spirit's cutting the, the cords now because um, pretty soon, Spirit's going to move you into something completely different, a complete um, change in lifestyle. And some of these people aren't going to be able to go with you, so Spirit's allowing the, the cords to get cut. Um, to do that, you have to see the truth, acknowledge the truth, and move accordingly. So there was things that probably you didn't 
um, know about this family or maybe even didn't want to accept about this family that they were actively trying to sabotage you and even like whenever this change comes um, you're gonna grow even more so like these people are gonna your family is gonna witness you elevate so fast once you are away from them and they're it's gonna like it's it's gonna hit them the reality that they were the problem like because these people really think of themselves as um better than you honestly they think they're they're better than you because they have what better houses better cars better clothes better you know they make more money right spirit says right now like they could have been like at one time making more money than you um and they they rubbed it in your face they like to make you feel like you were less than and spirits ripping all that shit away from them yeah you're taking a leap of uh, faith making a change in a different direction that's going to bring you the happiness and success um but these people actually you're i'm hearing your family tried to fool you they tried to make you believe that they had love for you and, but they didn't. What's this Ace of Cups? This new love is going to make you so happy. Again, you could find this person um, at work, maybe doing something that you are, you know, doing something that you're, you're creating. You might partner up with this person and that makes your peace. Man, it's so sad, but this makes your people sad. This makes your family sad to know that you're going to be happy. Isn't that fucking pathetic that a family actually doesn't want members to be happy? A spirit says um, happier, doing better. So these are people who will root for you as long as you're not doing better than them. They're going to be really disappointed. That's another secret that these people don't want you to know. That they really don't want you to be happy. That your victory, remember I said something about um, seven people that were could have came up against you. These people tried to make it seem like they had love for you, but they were behind the scenes spreading lies, spirit, saying that's the truth, spreading lies to, to end any kind of progression for you. And they're stressed now because they know they, they could have done this in secret, but spirit... Spirit's going to call judgment on them, and they know it. They know it. Okay, so oh, they, could have been, they could have even sabotaged a connection in the past. This could have been your family that did this. Yeah. There was a whole group that, that meddled in this connection. They wanted to, to put an end to your happiness. So this group worked together, and it didn't happen. So now they're all sad because they know that they fucked you over and they're not going to get any part of your blessings because of, you know, how disloyal and fake they are. Oh, you're getting some kind of position of authority at work. You could be getting a promotion. You could have just started at this place, but you've, you've, ugh, I don't know. You've gone up, up on, in the ranks somehow. Okay. Anything else for pile number one? Yeah. That's gonna. There's. This was. Um. This was something that. This was a position that was very sought after. Like a lot of people were competing for this position. You were a newcomer, and you ended up getting this, this position because of your wisdom. Because of your wisdom, you speak truth. <clears throat> What's this Ace of Swords before I let Pile One go? Okay. So you speak truth on the things that um, people do to bully, um, to take advantage of people, that harms people. You you see things from a higher perspective and you speak on that. That's that's the truth that you speak, and that's why you're getting the victory. That's why you're getting this new love. Your family in the past could have sabotaged this 
this uh, a past love that you had um, in the past your family could have been trying to sabotage your victory in the past your family could have tried to silence you and that is stuff that your hidden enemies your hidden enemies being your family um, don't want you to know that they did this they sabotaged their connection in the past and they sabotage your connections so you can't be happy they don't want you to be happy so they're going to sabotage any kind of success and victory you have at work by burdening you with bullshit and and trying to sh silence you by s talking so much dirt on your name and so people won't take you seriously you know they there's a whole group coming together to throw dirt on your name to get people well you know so and so's whole family is saying that they ain't shit and that they're this way or that way and it's because it's a group effort to take down one person and this is family this is somebody that they're supposed to have a lot of love for that's why spirit is using this person to speak on the truth of um the harm that others create this person has lived a life of nothing but heartache and pain and misery due to their family this person never had any spirit says that's the truth this person never had any love or support from their family <clears throat> but outside <clears throat> excuse me outside people might see it as oh well yeah i mean your parents are still married they have a nice home they you know something like that like they they look they present well but they're like deep down they're evil wicked people and that I'm getting like, um, like, uh, what's Ruby Frank, Ruby Frankie and, and that type of energy, like the whole horror house, like the, I forgot what family uh, it was that they, there were like 12 of them or something like that. Um, yeah, like these are people who are very religious and claim to be like all for God and worship God and praise God every Sunday. But they behind closed doors, man, they are wicked ass people. They do not practice what they preach. And they condemn anyone who doesn't practice what they preach. You know, these this is the type of family that this person is um, was born into. And spirit, spirit is going to use them because they've overcome a lot. So that's, if this is you, pile number uh, one, if this is you that's getting blessed, congratulations. Uh, if it's your family, if, if, if you're watching about a family member, then, you know, shit's going to go bad for you. Well, let's look at, look at, let's look at the family, the family who, okay. So the, the family in the family, this family unit, um, there could be parental figures who claim to be very wise. They claim to, you know, have this happy family. This, the one that they attacked is moving away from them, maybe even relocating. This, this person that they attacked is it's gonna get wifed up somebody's gonna make this person a wife their wife um they're gonna give to them man take them shopping and they're gonna be really like just free man that stressed someone out they're like okay well how can i mess this up for them What's going to happen to these people who want to mess it up? <laughs> You're going to beat yourself up, man. That's what it says. Somebody came in and was like, okay, well, they're going to get, they're going to have a, somebody coming in and they're going to get all this stuff. How can I, how can I sabotage that? Spirit says, try it and see what happens. You're not going to know what the fuck hit you. So. I don't know this could be this could be a this could even be a fire sign who wants to sabotage this um spirit saying you better reject that because if you if you're up to something trying to keep someone stuck you're only going to burden yourself you're only going to burden yourself you're going to struggle and um with money so you're always going to have to be working really extra hard this is somebody who has to work like two three jobs just to you know maintain a 
you know, a home, a car, you know, whatever, lights, food. Spirit says, you know, it doesn't have to be that hard. You can have a comfortable life, you know, and because instead of going after that for yourself, you want to slow another person down because you what hate them, you're jealous of them, whatever that is. Spirit says all you're doing is cursing yourself to a life of heartache and poverty. You're going to have to work extra hard just to come get out ahead. All because you wanted to come against this person. You're a fucking hater. Whoever this is, you're a fucking lame. Get a life. Find your own passions and stop trying to sabotage another person because all you're doing is cursing yourself and your bloodline. That's a stupid fucking thing to do. You're, do you really want to curse yourself to a lifetime of, of um, hard work? I don't think so. Spirit says whatever this person is speaking is the truth. Okay? You were trying, this person, whoever this person is, um, was trying to burden another person. They're trying to work, right? They're trying to focus. And here comes the devil. Like, pay attention, pay attention to this, pay attention to this, pay attention to, you know. Ugh. That, that's aggravating. Spirit's been watching this. And the person that's been doing this is going to, is, you know, pretty much creating their own reality. So they're trying to get shit done and they're always going to have some devil, you know, distracting them. It's going to bring up a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, a lot of stress for you if you because you wanted to do this to another person spirit says you know <laughs> it to balance this out you you know this family member or this group could have acted very impulsively against another person thinking it was funny to be distracting this person and weighing this person down with unnecessary bullshit spirit says but because all that shit is going back you know that's it's fair so the per, the, the struggle that you suffer is fair because you know it's balanced you wanted that for this person but spirit's like no that's not that's not really fair so spirit puts it back on you on this family member to balance it out and now this person's like oh shit now i have to sit in this devilish energy that i created for this other person it's like what goes around comes around all right damn all right pile number one that's what i have for you don't forget to like share subscribe all right guys i'll see you guys next time all right pile number two this is your reading we are going to look into what are your hidden enemies um hiding from you what is it that they don't want you to know all right I already pre-shuffled the cards, so we're just going to pull some, some cards to get the message. What is it that they don't want you to know? Hidden enemies. Okay, they don't... What is it that your hidden enemies, what is it that they don't want you to know? There could be a whole group, lots of people spreading. I'm being drawn to the tornado and the snake. Like these people wanted to create some kind of confusion surrounding you and surrounding your work. Um, the confusion being that you were foolish. You didn't know what the fuck you were doing. They tried to destroy something from you, but with the tower in reverse, whatever they tried to destroy, that they were they were unsuccessful. They were hoping that people would they could convince people to walk away from you, <clears throat> or convince you to walk away from whatever it was that you were working on, because there are people who wanted to collaborate with you, and they're like they didn't want that. They wanted people second guessing you. So these are people at work who 
um, try to act like they're for you, um, but they secretly were spreading lies, gossip to confuse others about you and about your work. But you're having the victory, and that's something that they could be talking about. Yeah, nine of, nine of pentacles. So, so whatever you're, you've been working on, you're having success. You're moving away. Again, remember, they wanted this tower for you. You're just moving on past that. You're like, you know what? <laughs> nah, I'm good. What's this? You could have... Um, Hmm. Oh, King of Cups. This could be somebody who who has um, you have emotion for. This is somebody that you have love for. This person, whoever this represents, was working in cahoots with people that you work with to end you, to ten of swords you. That's what they don't want you to know that your family was working with people that you work with your co-workers to end you to cause this tower moment but it, it again in in reverse you're it's you've avoided whatever destruction they tried to create in your life you're moving on it's like you you're moving on with your with your kid you know onto calmer waters fuck all this shit fuck you even though I had a lot of love for you at one point, fuck you and fuck you, Mr. Boss Man. That's what that's what they're hiding from you. That that's what that they were sabotaging you. That they were working with your people, your coworkers were working with your family to to destroy whatever <laughs> the devil to destroy whatever it is that you were doing. number two what else is it that the hidden enemies don't want you to know so you could be finding out that you could have some hidden enemies at work some hidden enemies um at home yeah whatever it is that you were growing what yeah, family dude you could be coming over from pile one pile one has the family who their en hidden enemies were their family so um if you're connected to pile one or if you think you could have some some family that are sabotaging you, um, check out pile one. This pile two is about your coworkers, but what's coming out about your coworkers, what they don't want you to know, and probably what they don't want you, you know, your family didn't want you to know, is that they were working together to destroy you. High Priestess, Page of Pentacles. You were working on something. It was taking off. It was taking forever to take off. Because you had people at work trying to, uh, you know, ban you, shadow, I heard shadow ban, so they could have been trying to shadow ban you. Um, you had your family on this other side trying to weigh you down with, a, you know, stress and obligations and burdens, all this bullshit that, you know, trying to throw their bullshit onto you to keep you distracted so you wouldn't be able to work. And the little bit of work that you were getting out, they were blocking it. And so... But Spirit says this is, it's been growing regardless, you know, they, it's been growing. These people are stressed the fuck out that they could not, oh my God, look at this. They are so stressed out that they could not burden you, man. They tried, they threw everything at you, yo. They didn't want this to happen. So how do they end this this new beginning for you? Whatever you were creating, you know, try to create stress and depression, bullying, you know, keeping you stuck, you know, just a lot on your plate. Depress. Oh my God, these people. You have family and coworkers doing this shit to you. All right, pile number spirit says that's the truth. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, there could be a boss that's getting found out. There could be um, a mother figure or, or a father figure or a boss. 
Somebody was paid, maybe this boss was paid, paid this person, this Queen of Pentacles, something to create some problems for you. Yeah. Like they paid to create conflict in your life. To an, an I heard an earth angel. Oh my god, judgment is here, yo. All because of the shit you you went around, you pissed off God and you you went after one of his favorites, yo. Oh shit. It's it just amazes me how it like it cowards. They're they have to gang up in groups. They have to get together in groups to go against one person because they're such cowards. Justice is always going to come in for the innocent. That communication is going to come through the star, the wheel of fortune. It's going to come in quick, man. The chariot. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you better be stressed. If you're on the wrong side of this, you better be stressed because if all this goodness is coming to the to the to pile number two to balance things out any kind of fuck shit or wickedness that they try to send a pile to has to go back it has to go somewhere so it's going to get returned to sender whoever whatever you throw at this person gets returned to you you have to be mindful of that guys my god look at this <laughs> i'm hearing uh god prepares a table for you in front of your enemies so your enemies are going to have to watch you have fame notoriety success abundance money like riches wealth happiness you could have a, a you could have um a very um healthy relationship coming in for you this is it, all your haters all these people co-workers family anyone who tried to to throw dirt on your name are they're just gonna have to watch you have a happy life all because they they're gonna know that they try to destroy you that's why they don't get a part of it and that's why they're sad because they trapped themselves they binded themselves to their own wickedness good for you pile number two you have some beautiful things you have beautiful things coming in for you so what they don't want you to know is that they've been they could have gotten a, official uh, messages from Authorities that judgment's about to be called for them. Oh my god, there's some sneaky shit going on at work, and oh my god, someone's going down at work. Someone's going down at work. There's a lot of fighting because who all these people who ganged up against you who agreed to this plan, they're all getting caught up. And they're like, Well, I was just a small player in this, but you still played the game. You went against God's chosen, God's anointed, God's child. You went against the wrong one. Your, your judgment will be based on the level of wickedness that you created for this other person. So big pay, player, small player, it don't, it don't matter. Consequences must be paid. And your consequence is going to, deter, uh, is going to be based on how much you did to this person. Pile, probably to pile two so I don't know put your energy where it belongs guys all right pile two that's what I have for you don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to check out the description box there's more information down below so you can contact me if you want to schedule your own personals but if not and this is where I leave you have a great one guys all right pile number three you chose the orange and red hat this is your reading we are going to look into what is it that your hidden enemies don't want you to know. Okay, we have Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Lovers, Death. Oh my God. Okay, um, I'm not taking all of them. Oh, 
Okay. Um, what is... Okay. So, um... Pile number three, what is it that your hidden enemies don't want you to know? You could have talked, you could have spoken to them, to your hidden enemies. Obviously, you're, you know, you're counseling someone um, that you don't, you didn't see as an, an enemy. You supported this person, gave them advice. Um, your families could know one another. Um, you could have spoke something about their money, about a relationship, maybe a relationship at work. Um, you gave them. You gave them. You gave this person advice. Pile number three. Um, but what they don't want you to know is that um, you told this person, like maybe you you informed them that if they did something, got involved with the in a relationship, that it was gonna fuck up, that the relationship wouldn't last, and that it was gonna fuck up their money. I don't think they listened to you. They thought they were above you because maybe they, you know, maybe they had a better position at work or you know I don't know something like that see here you know he's sitting on his throne with this fancy coat um you have work clothes on so you could have like I don't know the type of the type of service that you provided um so this person thought they were very they, this person was very arrogant very smug they thought they were above you that's devilish thinking. Uh, you put a, you put in a lot of work. Whatever you were working on, it could have something to do with communication. But you told this person, hey, if you get involved with this person, it's going to fuck up your money. It's going to fuck up your relationship. They didn't believe you. The fuck do you know? Look at your clothes. Look at mine. I have this nice cushy job, you know? Like, um... But they're not telling you that that relationship, their money and their 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 finances and their relationship came came crashing down. Pile number three, <laughs> tower, dude, crashing down. You told them, pile number three. You told this person, um, hey, you know, don't. Don't get involved in that relationship. It's not going to work out. And it's going to fuck up your money. And this person's like, fuck you. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You just... Mm. This person thought that whatever message you, you sent to them, whatever you told them, they just... They, they took it kind of personal like you were attacking them. Or you wanted to create some kind of problem in their life. Or I don't know, some bullshit like that. Now they're all stressed and worried because... Mm. Oh, they could have uh, they could have been talking all kinds of shit about you, pile number three, and like maybe, maybe you block this person or you don't like want to talk to this. I don't know. You put up some kind of boundary to this person, or they know that you did, and they know that they're like, fuck, man. I you know I acted like I was above it, and now I need this person's help because. You know, I didn't take their advice, you know, that they told me this was going to go to shit and I didn't listen. And they couldn't need some help getting out of a financial hardship. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Yeah, but they, they need your help. But they're like, they're stressed out. They're thinking about this. They're like, man, how can I ask for this person for help after all the shit that I talked to on them? Damn. Pile number three. So what don't they want you to know that... Whatever you told them was true. They're starting to see it and they need your help, but they don't want to ask for help because they were talking shit and they know that you know that they were talking shit. Yeah, they want to ask you for help. My life is not where I want it to be. I'm struggling financially. I need your help. Um, because, oh, 
Spur says because you were more affordable back then. <laughs> you were more affordable back then. So like if this is a service that you offer, um, maybe when they had access to you and um, when they had access to you and they could afford this, you know, they, they you know, they, they didn't, they didn't support you. They could have gone a couple times, maybe just to kind of like see what it was about. Um, you told them, so, you gave them the information. They didn't listen. All things went to shit. Now they need your help, but now you charge a lot. You charge a lot to, to, um, for your time. You went from the page of pentacles to the queen of pentacles and they don't have the money anymore. At, at one point they were the king of pentacles. Remember pile number three. They had, they thought they were better than you. They thought they had more money and that you wasn't shit. And you know, I don't know, like now, now their finances took a hit and they're, they're not in a financial position where they can afford you because maybe your prices went up and these people can't afford you. And they're like, shit, man, I need, I need some support. I need some advice. Um, whatever this person told me to be careful of I I didn't I was reckless and <clears throat> now I need their help but I shit on them so what aren't they what don't they want you to know pile number three that they need your help everything you predicted and told them um warned them about came to pass and now they're struggling and that they can't afford to pay for your services that they, but they need your help. Yeah. Okay. So what else does pile do we need to know before I let them go? Tower. Damn. Nine of, yeah, they are struggling financially. Their finances took a hit and they're like, man, I don't know how to get out of this, man. They are stuck. They are stuck. Wow. They are stuck. That spirit says, that's judgment on your money, on your finances. I have to balance it out because of the way you used to move. You did a lot of wicked shit. Okay, pile number three. If this isn't you, um, that, I don't know, pile three. This could be, I could be picking up on the people that did this to you. But the people who did this to you, all the fuck shit that they sent to you is coming back to them. The... If their finances took a hit, that's judgment. That's balance for everything that they tried to, to create in your life, man. Shit. And it could have been just by words, like things that they said to other people. To, so they would not support you. I don't know, man. Okay. These are all kind of blending in. So these, I'm, I'm picking up really strongly that... This is not family. This is not coworkers. This could be like friends or <clears throat> clients, like old communities that you've you've uh, parted from, like old community. Yeah, old communities. At one time, you guys could have been friends. These could have been old friends, old classmates, just old communities that you've connect you disconnected from. Yeah, these are people from your childhood. Yeah, you put up boundaries to them and they're just like, oh shit. Well, don't, you know, don't block me out just yet. I need your help. Now I'm poor and I'm struggling and I need your advice. And, you know, where are you? But your prices went up and now they can't afford you. Why? Because, you know, they lost their money. If they would have listened to you, they wouldn't be having these issues and they wouldn't be needing your advice. Mm. All right, pile number three. That's what I have for you. Ugh. I don't know. Hopefully these readings made sense to you. Maybe they, I hope they helped in any way that they're supposed to. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, guys. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's some more information down below so you can contact me if you want to schedule your own personals, okay? But if not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, guys.